If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 6% off at checkout. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this video. What's up guys, it's Vive Chief here and today we've got some more insane trading methods that could help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 22. So I got three different methods for you guys and all I ask is that you just drop a like on the video right now. It does really help out. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So the first one we're going to be looking at is very, very low budget for you guys that don't really have a ton of coins. And what we're going to be looking at is just gold rare Liverpool center backs. So in this filter cards we got here are Matip, Gomez, Konate, and then obviously Van Dyke is there, but he's a bit too expensive. You're not really going to be looking at him in this filter. So right now, these gold rare Liverpool center backs are selling for it looks like about a thousand coins. So they're going to sell for eleven hundred right now. So selling at eleven hundred, you're only going to lose fifty five on tax. So I would try to pick these up for about nine hundred coins or less. So for a filter like this, I wouldn't really even consider sniping. Mass bidding is going to be your best friend on this filter. But and you know we did see a card pop up right there. We do see another one here, but I'm not even getting them. So it's just not going to be worth it there. So what I recommend doing is mass bidding on these cards. So what I do is I'm just going to go gold rare Liverpool center back and then go in here and every single card I see, I'm just going to bid 900 coins on it, regardless of what I can bid on it. You know, some of these, you know, you might be able to bid like 750, 800, but always always just bid the price you're willing to go up to 900 coins on these cards it's going to be way quicker for you and you don't have to worry about you know like getting outbid going back and having to bid on that card again or anything like that so just go through and mass bid the price you're going you're willing to go up to which for me here would be 900 now something you can do to alter this filter as well would be to add like a shadow chemistry style here and if we look at these cards with shadow chem styles we are looking at let's see what are these going for at the moment looking at about 23 2400 coins for these cards now this is one where sniping is much more viable on these cards because a lot of times what people will do is they won't realize they have a shadow or they won't know that it kind of makes these cards more valuable and they'll list these cards up for like 12 or 1300 coins the normal price of the card when in reality the shadow typically adds about a thousand coins to any card here so you can both snipe and bid on those bidding is something i definitely recommend keeping an eye on here because you can find a lot of low-key deals cards that a lot of people aren't bidding on because again they're not really worried about the shadow they just kind of want the card but in reality the shadow adds a lot of value to that card so that's something to keep an eye on as well and something you can do with this filter as well is instead of sniping because not tons of cards are going to come up is compare price sniping which basically just makes it much easier you don't really get kicked out of the game as much when you're doing this and it makes it a lot easier to pick cards up joe gomez there for 22 i think is a deal i'm going to list him 25 here and i think we're going to make some coins off him maybe 20 i'll list him 26 and i think he should sell there so easy pick up there with the compare price method things you love to see but moving on to our next method we're going to stick in the prem here and what we're going to be looking at are tottenham here and brazilians so tottenham has two brazilians they've got lucas mora and they have emerson here now right now emerson is up in price compared to usual these brazilian right packs always go for something but he's up even more so if we take a look right here Lucas and Emerson are going for about 2,500 coins. Lucas a bit more than Emerson, but looks like 25, 2,400, I would say, is the selling price for this Emerson. So selling at 2,400, you're going to lose 120 coins on tax. So I'd be trying to pick these up for about 2,100 or less. Now, with a method like this, I think bidding is going to be the way, or not bidding, I think sniping is going to be the way to go. Even when I typically prefer bidding on these cards, oh, we miss a Lucas there for 1K. Because cards like Lucas and Emerson are just cards that I feel like people would not expect to be going for like two and a half K coins right now. So whenever it's cards that are kind of very, very surprising their price and cards that you think wouldn't really go for anything, that's when I think sniping is really viable. And filters that aren't like super, super popular. I mean, I haven't like seen tons of people talking about this filter or anything. It's not like it's the Manchester United Gold Rare Defenders filter that literally everyone uses. This one will be much easier to snipe on. Still difficult to pick these up, but worth giving a go. Because, I mean, you saw 
cards are popping up very quickly. Oh, we've missed a Lucas for a thousand and an Emerson for 500. That's two, that's what three and a half K profit right there. We've just missed out on on those cards just barely. But yeah, you can see very, very easy filter to do here. Now, there isn't really any easy way to alter with a chem style or anything, so not really much to deal with there. But I mean, if you do see like a Lucas with a Hunter or an Emerson with a Shadow or maybe like a position change Lucas up to a right forward, then they'll go for a little bit more coins. So it's worth keeping an eye on there. Also, this card is just ridiculous. I've been thinking about getting him in my team. He looks unreal right now. So moving in to the third and final filter, what we're going to be looking at now is another side of London here. We're going to be looking at Chelsea and we're going to be looking at gold rare position center backs now typically you can just go gold center backs here but i'll kind of show you the issue with that right now so if we go gold rare center backs basically the cards we're looking at are aspel equator and rudiger tiago silva is going to be a bit too expensive for this so you're not really going to win him on bid much so you're going to be looking at aspel equator and rudiger which go for around 1300 coins right now yeah 1300 is the selling price on them no again typically you can just go gold center back but right now because of the lack of spcs requiring this kind of stuff christensen's down in price but soon enough he'll be up over that like 1200 1300 coin mark and you'll be able to just do gold center backs here but for now just gold rare center backs they sell for 1300 so i'll lose 65 on tax selling at that so i'll be bidding at about 1100 here and i have found success sniping on this filter again i don't really use this one a ton i typically just go for the league sbc filters but sniping is probably going to be your best friend on a filter like this because all eight most 83s right now are going for about 850 to 900 coins whereas these ones right now are like 12 or 1300 so they're gonna get listed for cheap or a decent amount i would say just because the general price of the cards at their rating are going for less if i was actually sniping that whole time i definitely would have picked that card up 950 gosh i can't buy one today you can also tell by the the loading that my internet is horrific here so yeah not really able to pick up too much but i mean per usual with all these filters what i do recommend doing is when you go in here the first thing you do is you're going to go in find the price they sell for check the bids first place down a bunch of bids and then go in and do your sniping while you're waiting for your bids to expire because then you're winning cards both from sniping and bidding and just spending your time as efficiently as possible going to make you the most coins and i would say my favorite of all these filters is probably going to be that tottenham brazilian one i think it's the least popular which makes it nice and it's got the most potential to make a lot of coins on a card i mean you saw an emerson for 500 you saw lucas for a thousand again in like a 30 second span so potential to make a lot of coins on that one but guys that's gonna be it for this video if you did enjoy it make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video